63-4 and 47 against, zero abstentions. I state that the proposal for the Judiciary Basic Law Amendment Number 3, strengthening the separation of powers, was passed in the first reading and will return to the Constitution Committee. I hope that we will work together. I hope that we will work on it together for the sake of the people of Israel. This is the first step of the realization of Israel's judicial overhaul. The bill passed its first reading in Parliament on Monday. It proposes the government have control of the appointment of judges and revoke the High Court's authority to review Israel's basic laws. Not everyone is convinced that this will indeed benefit the country. During the day, thousands of Israelis from all over Israel and very different political allegiances came to Jerusalem to voice their opposition to the plan that they fear will dismantle Israel's democratic character and change society for the worse. We need to be here for women's rights, for Arab rights, for any minority rights living in Israel. Um, the women have to, we don't want to go to rabbinical courts, we want to have the freedom to choose not only men who will judge us, the judges have to be objective. Israel's President Isaac Herzog has also repeatedly urged the government and opposition to come together to hold talks and freeze the bill in the meantime, a call that has not been answered. It is a very, very difficult morning because there is a sense of sadness. Many citizens from all of the Israeli society, many who voted for this coalition and many who are concerned for the unity of our nation. We need to make every effort so that after this vote it will be possible to continue negotiating to reach an agreed outline that will get us out of this difficult period into a period of a widely agreed constitutional reform. But now that the bill went through its first reading in plenum, it will head back to the Knesset Constitution Law and Justice Committee for preparation for the second and third readings it has to pass before it turns into law. This is the time for coalition and opposition to work out a possible compromise. Otherwise, we are moving into a clash which would be bad for Israel. And at the end of the day, we have enough enemies. We don't need enemies with, right. within. The following weeks will be crucial for what many believe will determine the very political future of the country.